All right, so today we're going to be learning the proper technique for paddling in a kayak. So first of all, the great thing about learning a new technique or learning proper technique is that it prevents us from getting tired, uh, overexerting ourselves, and it also helps us just perform better. It lets us um, move faster and longer within the kayak. So there's just a few main techniques that we need to learn as especially as beginners. The first one simply being the forward stroke. So for the forward stroke, first of all, um, what's great about this is that, as its name implies, it's just to move the kayak forward. So for this, we have to stand, make sure we're sitting upright, position with good posture, uh, not, leaning, not leaning too far back, but just upright with good posture. And we have to make sure that um, our feet are comfortably against the pedals. And then they also have to be uh, slightly splayed. And our knees have to be flexed. So essentially like that. And we're nice and comfortable. Like, uh, comfortable with good, and yet with good posture. So, so once we have that, then we move on to the technique of how to use the paddle. So for the paddle, we just got to make sure that our both hands are equal distance from the blades. And we also have to make sure that the elbows are at 90 degree angles. And to check this, we just got to put the if you put the paddle over your head and you just look at the, de the degrees of your elbows, 90 degrees, which shows that you're in the proper position. Now next, we we're covering how to do the motions. So for that, it's simply, since we're more than likely gonna be using feathered paddles, we have to make sure to rotate our hands properly. So to do that, the hand that is closer to the water is going to be our grease hand. The hand that's pivoted up is our control hand. We gotta make sure that the control hand is always, at all times, it has to have a firm yet relaxed grip of the paddle. The other hand is the grease hand, which as the name implies is gonna be loose. So when we dip, paddle into the water, we loosen the grip so we can twist the paddle into the right direction. The reason we want to do that is because feather paddles both face slightly different directions in order to cut through air and through water more aerodynamically faster. So that's why we always want to adjust the blade to square up the water so that it can properly hit against the water to move us either forward or backward. So it's gonna look like this. So you have your control hand and you have your grease hand. So as it deeps, dips in the water, you just loosen the grip and twist. 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 And then you just repeat the motion over and over. And then you're just moving forward and you get good speed, nice and relaxed, upright, not overexerting yourself. And that's really it. Um, so the great thing about the forward stroke is once you learn everything we just talked about, once you got that down, the other techniques kind of just build off of it. So they should be much easier to learn now that we know how to do the forward stroke. So the next technique is called the sweep stroke. And this one is a really good technique for changing our direction or for manipulating our direction. Um, so to do this, it's really pretty simple. If you think of it in simple terms, all it is is you're taking the blade of the paddle you're stepping it in the water, 
but you're dipping it towards the front of the boat. And when you do that, you then sweep across the water in a wide arc, which will cause your boat, your kayak, to move, to change directions. And you can even see it just hitting it on the dry line of the physical post. If I push against this, this post on the ground, see I move it forward. And the same thing with the friction between the paddle and water, it'll have the same effect. It just spins you. And that's really it. You're using 100 degree, 180 degree sweeps across the water and doing it in a large arc will make it that much more effective. And then that's, that's really it. That's how you, how you alter your direction. You can think of it as something very simple, just hitting against one, one object to push the other. <clears throat> so that's the sweep stroke. The next one is the reverse stroke. The great thing about this technique is that all it is is the reverse of the sweep stroke, as its name implies. So with this one, so instead of pushing from the forward, from the front part of the boat, you push from the back part of the boat. See how I, see how I go a different direction? It's just pushing against the back of the boat. So even against dry land, I get the I get the same effect as I would in water. It's just you know friction between objects. So there's that one. That's the draw stroke. I mean the reverse stroke. Um, same as the sweep, as the sweep stroke, but in reverse. Um, wide arc, just like the like the sweep stroke. And then always with the sweep stroke and the reverse stroke, we, we always want to make sure to, to use our torso, which will give us that much more power. So, for example, I'm using a reverse stroke. It's kind of just an unwinding motion. But if you, if you use your, your torso, you get even more power from it. So that's where we want a lot of the power to come from. The next technique is probably one of the most simple ones compared to the others, which is the draw stroke. For this one, it allows us to move laterally. So you get your control hand, whichever hand's further from the water, as a pivot. And your grease hand is what you use to basically just direct where you want the the, uh, the blade to dip, how you want it to dip into the water. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and you're just repeating the motion. So you have, so it's really pretty simple. It's like you have your pivot hand, which lets you manipulate the paddle and the blade, and then your grease hand, just kind of further directing it, and you just dip it into the side to the side of your kayak directly horizontal to you and then you just do a pulling motion. This one's hard to do on, on land, but and then the same from the right. Dip in and you kind of just pull yourself like pulling against the water to put to pull you in the direction. In, a, in lateral, lateral side to side directions. So it's very simple. It's almost like you're, you're like digging or like, yeah, you're just pulling yourself towards the direction you want to go, which is like pretty simple. It's, it's a very simple technique, but also very, extremely effective. So next we have how to move backwards. And once again, this one is relatively simple. Um, for pedaling backwards, your positions are very similar to the forward stroke, except the difference is where you dip the blade of the paddle. So you're not going in front of you. What you're doing is 
you're dipping the blade in between your body and the back of the boat. So essentially, this type of motion. So notice how the forward stroke is this, going forward. The backward stroke is doing this, going backwards. Pretty much the reverse of the forward stroke. Um, something to keep in mind though, is that with the reverse stroke, or while well, the backward stroke, you want to dip, you want to dip the, the back face of the paddle into the water. So just be mindful of that, that you have the, the back face against the water and you're using that to propel you backwards. And another key, another cue or another key element is that you look backwards as you're doing it. Not only does looking backwards help you to keep, to be aware of what's behind you, but also looking behind you allows you to unwind your, tor your torso, your torso better. So you're using your torso, your core, it's a much stronger, a much more powerful force than if you're just using arm strength. So that one is the backwards, backwards stroke. Lastly, we have the 360 degree turn. This one sounds way more complicated than it actually is. It's actually extremely simple. All, if you, especially if you just think of it in simple terms, all it is is you simply art, alternate between the sweep stroke, which we already learned, and the reverse stroke using 180 degree sweeps, just as we did in the uh, sweep stroke and reverse stroke. And you're just you're just alternating between the two. And if you do that, you'll you'll be able to spin yourself in circles, 360 degrees. Um, for this one, though, also keep in mind you want to keep the paddle low when you're doing the sweep stroke and reverse stroke. But it looks like this. So we learned the sweep stroke already, which is just dipping the blade towards the front of the boat. Um, Pretty much at the knees or past the knees, but the key is just to the front of the boat. And then you're just using it to, to rotate you. So as you can see, I, ro I rotated, but then you ask yourself, well, how do you get the full 360 degree? You just continue the pattern, but instead you're using, now you're using the reverse stroke. And with the reverse stroke, you use it on the other side. Where you're pushing against the, you're dipping the blade near the back of the boat. So like, it spins you, and you're just alternating from the hitting from from one side using the sweep stroke to the other side using the using the reverse stroke, and you just keep repeating the motion. And you spin yourself in 360 degree circles. And uh, as you can see, even on dry land, just hitting against a solid object on the ground, I can already spin myself in 360 degrees. So I'm doing it on in a kayak is going to be that much more interesting and much more engaging. And uh, you'll really be able to uh, see just how much effect these techniques can have when you're kayaking. So that's basically it. If you master those techniques, you'll have everything you need to know. You'll have every, every tool at your disposal to be an effective kayaker. And thank you. Uh, that's it for the, for the lesson for today. Thank you so much for, for watching.